Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe. I'm going to be jumping in again and I know I just played as Keeper but I'm going to play as Keeper again now that we have his stuff unlocked but also mainly because I really want to unlock Tainted Keeper. He's one of my favourite characters in the entire game. Um, so I thought why not and yeah we did so well as Keeper on our first run. Technically second but pretty much first. First video um, that I think we should... Um, I think we should try and get the Tainted Keeper unlocked because he is a lot of fun. A lot and a lot of fun. And I mean, honestly, I just really like Keeper as he is as well. So I don't mind playing him. Um, especially now that we have the starting three hearts and the um, starting wooden nickel. We're in a, a much, much, much better spot now. Because not only can we just generate more money for potential devil deals. Um, but also we just have safety now. Uh, Bucket of Lard does literally nothing for us, I think. I, I, I'm, I'm fairly sure it does actually nothing for us. Uh, plus two HP up isn't like doesn't do anything, um, and all we get is a speed down. Now speed is already lower than it should be, so yeah, I'm gonna say no to that um, and cry a little bit about getting a ineffectual item in our item room. But that is the way the cookie crumbles every now and again. Uh, you're not so bad, I don't think, especially considering you're like cornered off in this little this little house of yours, this little house of poop. Um, I am going to go and quickly do what I normally do here. Do you know what? I completely forgot to do this before the episode. Um, but open up good old chat GPT um, and try and get some questions of the day going. Because I've been forgetting to do that recently. And it is a very, very good method of us generating questions of the day. So let me go and grab one real quick. Um, duh, 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 duh. One second. Ah, uh, damn, they're at capacity at the moment, so I guess not. Oh, God, I for some reason did not expect that at all. Uh, for some reason, they're at the capacity at the minute, so we just have to unfortunately deal with that. But yeah, um, okay, so I have to think of one up of my very own. That is going to be tricky. Um, what's the most recent film that you watched, and what did you think of it? Because um, yesterday, not yesterday, was it yesterday? No, day before, sorry. Uh, me and my girlfriend rewatched uh, Night at the Museum. Uh, mainly because she'd never seen it before, which for someone of our like age is just baffling to me. I felt like everyone, like when those films came out, like at school, everyone went to see it. Um, and it, it's just weird to meet someone that hadn't seen them. So I was talking about it and she was like, yeah, I've not seen it. And I'm like, I was, I was just kind of like, excuse me? Excuse me, what? What are you saying to me right now? You've not seen Night at the Museum? Wow. So we ended up watching it. And it honestly, yeah, it holds up. It's a pretty good film. Um, like it's it's not the greatest, but I mean, it's pretty decent. And it's got uh, Steve Coogan in it as well, who is um Alan Partridge, which is just awesome. Anything he's in is is pretty pretty great. Ooh, a nickel there as well. Get that poison on him. This guy could give a spider bite if we get lucky, uh, which would be real nice. I really like the fact that the themed uh, versions of the, the, like, champion versions of these guys actually have their own drops. Unfortunately, not lucky enough to get spider bite here, but there you go. Uh, at the minute, I'm just kind of trying to maybe suss out where the uh, the secret room lies, because um, we have a lot of bombs right now, and I, I feel like it'd be a waste to not try and find it. Ooh, a luck upgrade there. Pretty lovely. Um... So I'm trying to suss out where it might be. I mean, let's try this just because we can blow up the Nickel Keeper anyways. Um, do I want to try and get Black Candle? I think so. Yeah, let's 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 grab Black Candle. I think Black Candle is just a genuinely very, very good thing to grab it early on. Not having to deal with any curses is pretty nice. Of course, there is some somewhat positive curses out there, but... I'm, do you know what? I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. This is kind of a tough one. So the Thin Rooms mean that it can't spawn... Can't spawn there. Um, so maybe here? No. Wasn't there. And I'm using a lot of bombs here that I probably shouldn't be throwing away. Okay, there you go. There's one. Pretty good money and got our bomb back as well. Honestly, I'm going to bomb up, bomb up these two. Try and get ahead of the keeper or just more money, in which we did get that. Uh, and then second secret room seems a little more obvious to me, but I might be wrong. I'm going to try out my theory. This is just a theory. 
a game theory, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, I think it's at the end of this hallway. Give us the quarter as well. Oh, I did give us a penny though. Um, and we got ourselves there, the, the magician. It's fine. And we will uh, bomb this guy as well. Sadly, no money from him, but honestly, did pretty well with money this uh, this time around. Let's just check in here to see if we want to bomb through to any of these things. Um, I... No, I was going to say I thought that would wait. It won't. I was going to try and bomb through there um, to hit the troll bombs, but it won't, it won't reach. I'd have to use two bombs, which would mean it was pretty useless to me. Um, and we'll grab both of those, and we'll go down. So yeah, we're going for a mother run here, so we've got to remember to drop off our, our trinket um, whenever we get one. Oh, we, we have the matchstick already, okay. Uh, I'm not going to spend a penny on that yet, just in case. Okay, good stuff. Oh, that was a very, very near hit there. Kind of got lucky to get away from that one. Yeah, and then the magician here probably just used this on the boss. Good old bag of blood that turns into a bag of flies. Kind of interesting for us there. Kind of useful. I like it. I love it. Once more of it. Oh, whenever it gives you a nickel, you just feel kind of blessed. It's like, you you little rapscallion, you're so kind to me. Um, do you know what? Yes, 100% worth, I think. Steal each other's charge. Steal each other's charge. Get off me. Yeah, I think this is 100% worth. The range down is pretty significant, but that, that tier rate up with triple shot is actually pretty damn good. Go for a tears up and a tears up. Ah, pretty fly is pretty good though. Yeah, I think uh, number one, potentially pretty good. You know what, that gave me a penny, so I'll give the others the time of day as well. You see? It's not always a bad thing. Right. Let's keep it going. Dude, the pennies out of these poops are wild today. Wild. But yeah, I think this is a, a huge increase to our damage output. And the thing is as well, the earlier you get number one, the better, because you're more likely to find more range upgrades. If you already have low range, like late in the game, um, and then you end up uh, getting number one, it's kind of like, ugh, there's not many opportunities now to up that range again. But in a situation like this, there's plenty of opportunities um, to up our range. And we already did get one range upgrade earlier on. Um, we don't have a key for that, unfortunately. I'd very much like one, but it is how it is. These guys are a bit of a pain. And our range isn't drastically awful right now either. Unfortunately for us, this is a boss that I'm pretty terrible at. So I'm going to... Oh, that was kind of savage of these guys. Can you stop fucking moving away the moment I drop a bomb down, please? Yeah, basically these guys aren't that hard, but my, my little brain has a really, really hard time recognizing their patterns. So I find them pretty tough. Luckily, we're doing pretty well with them thus far and another good thing as well is they have they are pretty low hp uh so they, they are pretty easy to take out um we'll, we'll just take this i guess it's just a bit of oh, i should use my card god damn it um none of these are great but guppy's collar is a guppy item so i'll take that um and like i said we're not in any rush here so i'm gonna go back and uh Check out the arcade real quick. I like the way we've been changed into this uh, cactusy boy and we got the tack shots now. Yeah, just because there might, there might be something that's worth bombing in the arcade, so it's kind of worth checking out. Um, not really, I guess I'll bomb you. Turns all blood and machines into void. Oh, yeah, that doesn't really matter for us. Doesn't really matter for us. Oh my god, I had a hair in my mouth that entire time. Very distracting. But it has since been deceased. Right. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know if these uh, tiers do any the extra knockback like the uh, the nail ones do. Perhaps. Visually, it looks like they would. But I, th I think it is just purely visual. I don't think they have any extra stats or anything on them. We did get a library here, which is pretty unfortunate because we're not going to get much use out of it. But there is a few passives in the libraries now, so it's worth looking at. And obviously, there's just the fact that we could get Bookworm as well, which in itself is pretty worthwhile. Okay. This drug factory is not great for us. Um, these guys are kind of rough, to be honest. Especially when there's a lot of them. They're going to be firing off a lot of random shots if they're in the vicinity. And those random shots do have Spectral as well, so... These guys certainly create some issues. Um, I'm trying my best, but killing this one in the middle is kind of almost impossible. Uh, 
not actually that hard. It's just a little scary is all. I'm just gonna wait for the colours to return to normal before I change rooms. Because that has that has burned me before. Where the colours just never return to normal if I leave the room. Um, and I'd rather not taint the entire run's visuals for everyone. <laughs> like that, I did that episode like a month ago or so. Where I got a uh, wavy cap stars Eden and just played the entire run with wavy cap activated. That, that was uh, pretty funny but I'm sure some of you... Uh, had a bit of motion sickness coming from that. <laughs> so we always want to try and do the boss with at least 15. So in case we get a devil deal, uh, we have the opportunity to utilize um, the devil deal. Got an extra key there. Shall I go library first? I, probably not, to be honest. I think I should probably hold off and go to the item room first. Not particularly good there. If we get more keys, then maybe I'll think about that. Okay, swingy boys. Gotta be a little careful with these guys, because obviously when they get inhabited, they do that. But they're not particularly difficult enemies. Oh god, that was close. Okay, extra fly there as well, thank you, I guess. Um, Can we get much out of this? Perhaps. I mean, actually, technically, we could farm this a little bit. How do I re how do I get to these guys? You, you you just do your thing. One more spider, I'll do. Just one more. No, do you know what? You'd be pissing me off now. Come on, over here. Oh, you're going to take forever. I can't be asked. Double red chest. Uh, could have been good, unfortunately. Pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. But that's the risk you run with red chests. There's never a guarantee. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for my item room first, I think. And then library as a secondary. Wow, okay. Pretty flies all around us. I'm liking that. Reflux. Tears. Um... Okay, so that's tears down, effectively. Tears start boiling shortly after firing. Boiling tears explode when you stop firing. Respawn explosions cannot hurt you. Okay. Oh, I see. So I've got to go... Hmm... Tell me again. Tears start boiling shortly after firing. Boiling tears explode when you stop firing. Start boiling shortly after firing. I, I honestly have no idea. I'll be honest. Sometimes they explode, sometimes they don't. It's something to do with when I stop firing. So I guess if I tap shoot, they'll explode more often. But I think one of the biggest issues is that I don't have the range. To make them effective. This has just been a pretty big tears down. Ah, uh, container doesn't do anything for us. <laughs> I'll try and work this out, but I'm giving no promises because I'm unsure. I mean, at least the explosions don't hurt us, but I'd like to be able to actually utilize these things correctly, but don't really know how. Oh, uh, okay. I, th I think it is that. So look, if, if I do a momentum shot, if I do a momentum shot and then you can see the trail appearing. Yeah, okay. So it, 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 at the minute, it is just that my range isn't really compatible. Um, wait, what? The rock blew up and didn't give me anything. That's a bit rude. Um, yeah, I think it is just that my range isn't very compatible with it right now. Uh, essentially, what I need to do is I need to fire them and then wait until they're a certain distance away and then let go and they'll explode. Okay. Do, do they destroy... Um, It's really, really hard to do on purpose, I'll be honest. Okay, it does destroy rocks. That that could be pretty useful. I wonder if I can get into secret rooms with it. It's very, very hard to do on purpose. <laughs> right. Um, unfortunately... Oh, no, wait. Hmm. Bomb book gives bomb... It uh, gives a bomb. gives a bomb synergy for the rest of the room. Um, on use, enemies get the bleed effect, and then here we've got the Encyclopedia of Diseases and whatever the other one is. I'm going to take this because it's got two sacks in it. 
And also we can use this once for a bonus for this room. Uh, not this room, this floor, sorry. Cursed book. Oh, it just turned into nothing. Sadly, not much out of that. Right. Let me see if I can not waste a bomb here. Hey! Okay, that, that worked out. Yeah, we definitely just need more range to be able to actually use this, because right now it's it's pretty pretty awful to, to use on purpose. But the fact that we just got um, tears up and shot speed up should help. Oh, and silver ring as well. Nice. Oh gosh. But until then, our tears down is going to be pretty bad for us. I'm trying to use it in combat, but it's just it's just not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> okay, that I gotta say that was pretty much guaranteed. This is horrible. Yeah, that was kind of awful towards the end there. But honestly, we came out of that kind of smelling like roses, to be honest. That that worked out pretty well for us. <laughs> it's just it's so hard to do. Oh my god, I'm just not even going to bother. I really want to blow up all these mushrooms, but it's just going to take me a year and a day to actually get anything done, so... Let's not put you all through that torture. Okay, you've all got spoon bender. It's pretty fucking good if you can actually make it work as well, that's the thing. I mean, this gives us range up, so technically could be really good with this. Still don't really... Okay, that is pretty sick. I really want permanent herming right now for this, for this to do its thing. Why do we keep getting HP ups? Can you can you heck off? I mean, go ahead's pretty awesome here. Pretty darn awesome indeed. Um, I'm just gonna quickly check something out. Nah, I was I was hoping maybe I could get secret room towards uh, to get into the shop, but I can't. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna want a lot of money here. Um, I guess I'll pick it up. We're going to want a lot of money here to get into more of our devil deals um, and actually make them useful. It's going to be a shame if we find any that cost 30, because that is a, a possibility. But yeah, game keeps giving me HP ups when actually all I want right now is a mum's heal, which is something that's that's very rarely ever been said. So I think now game is the time to, uh, to give the person what they want when they ask for mum's heal, because it has never been asked for in the history of ever before. But yeah, it's kind of kind of strange to think that um, the room where I was like, yeah, we don't need the range. Let's just go with uh, let's just go with number one. Is like we get an item that basically requires us. That was a very good hit, good sir. Uh, gives us an item that basically requires us to have pretty good range for it to even function remotely correctly. A little bit upsetting. At least blow up that mushroom. It's, it's, we've got just about enough range to use it, but it's, the timing on it's really rough. You can see when the trail starts to appear. Like, I'm, I'm getting the hang of it a little bit, but it's, it's still not something that I'm totally, like, capable of using correctly. I mean, I managed to use it for this, which is pretty awesome. That gave me a golden bomb. Interesting. And that gave me contraband, which unfortunately can't do much with. See, now that it's got some real good use cases if you can use it right. Like it can insta-kill pretty much anything. Need a little bit more range, and it's gonna be so fucking good.
I don't need to look for the secret room right now, only second secret room. You can kill this guy normally. I might bomb my donation machine on this run just because I have a lot of use for money. Good. You guys are going to be slightly annoying. Triple shot definitely helps with uh, getting the explosions on time, I think. Somewhat. Okay. Good, good. Check this out. Tractor beam is very... Ooh, tractor beam's everything we need. It's a range upgrade. It puts all our shots in one. Oh, okay. I think this is real fucking good. I, I think tractor beam's kind of a, an absolute winner here for us. It's now way easier for us to... Uh, It's way easier for us to do what we want now. Okay, I'm liking that. That's a, that's a, a definite positive. Don't know why I used that in that room. Piercing would make this even better. But yeah, even just the damage up that this gives with uh, hitting all of our shots is very, very nice. But it has other advantages too. I making our explosions actually like plausible to hit now. I really should be blowing up all these mushrooms with golden bombs, shouldn't I? Liberty cap. Honestly, let's let's take liberty cap and go and drop a uh, matchstick in this room here. Because honestly, we don't need very many more bombs at the minute, do we? Where's liberty cap? Did I walk past it? I did. Okay. Um. Let me go into my shop actually here and uh, bomb my donation machine. I know it's kind of blasphemous to uh, to do that, but I very much want enough money to be able to uh, take advantage of Goat Head here. And that's the only way I'm going to do that reliably, I think. Quickly crack all these open. Nothing much out of them, though. Yeah, tractor beam, such a good item for us. Range up, shots all in a line. Um, shot speed up is good, too. Beautiful stuff. Amazing. That is extra range as well. Gotta love it. I bomb my donation machine, then I get this guy. Lumber Cool's pretty good, though. Pop the sun, I guess. I probably should have just used that on the next floor, to be honest. Eh, bit of a waste. I, I, I was thinking, let's find the secret room. I've already found it on this floor, so... Yeah, complete waste. Oh, well. What's done is done. One second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to go, and... Uh, I'm sorry, dude, I don't have your stuff. Uh, I had to go and um, look at a few things for a second, but we are back and we're ready to go. I need to remember that I can, like, blow up basically any rocks that I want to. <laughs> this is such a cool little setup we've got going on here. I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Like, <laughs> just nuking everything. Uh, let's bomb across here before I accidentally fuck this up. And just see if we can get anything else. Oh, whoa, hello. I was not expecting one of you. I thought I thought it's more like a regular a regular Bernie or something. Not not one of you guys. I like you. I like you. But yeah, for close range enemies, we can't really use our explosions anyways. It did say they don't hurt us, but it's it's very difficult for us to use it at close range regardless. Um Do you know what? I'm just gonna pick up pick up coins as I go, to be honest. I'm playing I'm playing it risky today. I'm living it fast and loose. We'll see what happens. But yeah, adding piercing to this would be insane because you could like get the get the tear inside the enemy and then detonate, which I feel like could be insane. There you go. I thought secret room was there. It felt like it. 
Okay, let's just be careful around this guy, because he has his own explosive tears. Yeah, I kind of felt, felt that one coming. I felt that one coming. But yeah, one sec. Right. Yeah, let's see what our item room has for us here. Gotcha, gotcha. <sighs> Plastic bag. I mean, for seven cent, we can re-roll this. It's it's a pretty good. Nah, it's a pretty good item. I've got to take it. I, I was I was sort of debating maybe trying to think think of some like try and get something a little more synergistic. But honestly, this is really good. You stay away from me, fella. And yeah, we should really be uh, trying our best to uh, destroy all our skulls and stuff here, if we can. Can I, like, yeah, I can, okay. Gonna be a little bit trickier than I would have hoped. Come on, I've got some flies. <laughs> this is not working the way I would have hoped. Oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna get in there. There you go. <laughs> I've got two flies for all that trouble. I love the fact that explosions just, like, rip these guys' heads off. So good. Never used to do that, but it's definitely a change they made recently. Okay, so we've got our shop. Shop isn't obviously super valuable here. But I guess I'll check it out. Eh, I don't know. I've only got one key, to be honest. Maybe, maybe I won't check it out. With only one key, it doesn't seem like a, a super smart idea. This is Necro 1. We've already seen the item room, to be honest. We can just go for this. Sadly, a slightly annoying... Uh, Slightly annoying boss fight, but honestly, it works out pretty well for us just there. Okay, this was fine. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a problem. This was fine. Wow. Okay, yeah. This 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 item, this item is real good. And we actually got a golden version of this, which is going to give us the double damage. I don't know if it will freeze them for twice the amount of time, though. It might. It would be cool if it did. Uh, contract from below is pretty good here. Um, did we just get three infested pills? Weird. Three in a row. Very strange. Very, very strange. But yeah, I think I think this build is is come together. The freezing area. So it normally lasts for zero point nine seconds. So like just under a second. Let's try and time it out. One, two. Yeah, it definitely has doubled. It definitely has doubled the length of time they're frozen for. That is kind of insane, actually. Being able to have a free reign of the room for a little bit of extra time when we start it. I think that's going to be very very important for us. Dude, we're getting so many of these bags. I'm not complaining. Close. Beautiful. Contract from below helping out. Something fierce as well. Not that we need a lot of bombs. We have kind of unlimited explosions if we want them, so... Not the greatest, but we'll take it. Now, th these, these fellas are just going to have to get shot, I think. Indeed, they are. Vasculite is an item I actually really like. I know a lot of people don't, but I actually think it's pretty good for killing groups of enemies. The main thing I like it for is not even groups of enemies. It's enemies that spawn other enemies, like mulligans and stuff that spawn spiders when they die, because they'll just instantly kill their, um, their, their spawns. They'll spawn the stuff and kill it with a vasculite straight away. Is room over? Yes, it is. It's slightly confusing. But yeah, basically we can get at least one enemy instantly killed. With this setup. But Bomb's doing some good work too. I've not been spawning the uh, the pennies when I should be, really. And yeah, it looks like a smaller explosion, but it's three explosions in one. Um, We need our full card first, so let's go and get that. I was like, shall we just leave? But no, we definitely need our full card first. Let's not leave before we get that bad boy. Otherwise, people are going to be angry at me, and I'm going to be angry at myself. I 
I guess we check in here just in case. I mean, that's actually probably perfect because more money the better, really. If we get a 30 cost item in the devil deal, I'd be very upset if I didn't have 30. So now there's a, uh, I say there's a good chance that I will. There's a guarantee that I will have 30 for this now. Well, look at that. that was, I, I had time to like reposition myself and everything. Um, breaks when you take damage. Oh, okay. I mean, there's a very good chance I lose this very, very quickly, but I like the idea of a perfection style item um, that works for all the stuff. And there he is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Let us be on our way. Yeah, we'll probably lose this pretty quickly, but it's not as if I was using my uh, trinket for anything anyways. So, oh wait, one minute actually. I'm just going to drop that there and go and get my uh, thingy back again. Just so I've got another trinket dropped, just in case my my brain misremembers what I already did. I'm fairly sure I dropped the matchbook in one of the item rooms, but... Meh, I don't really trust my memory all too much, so... I'm going to do this as a precaution. No. There you go. Right, and we've got the full card. Yeah, good to go. Good to go. Trying to blow her up there, but it didn't really work. I got the kill pretty quick. Take that. And this is exactly why I wanted 30. Exactly why I wanted 30. Just in case. Just in case. Right, and then we full card out here. And we head towards... Excuse me? Uh, I was very confused by that room for a hot second there. But I can see I can see clearly now. Someone had a theory about the Eternal D10 having like its own item pool and it glitching stuff out. I definitely think that they're right. Because uh, that's kind of an interesting idea for a room that instantly bops you into the item. I can't remember what this, this heart does. I'm sure it's terrible. Uh, it says Bob something or other, so I'm sure I'm going to hate it. Um, but, yeah, someone had, the th had a theory about, about the idea of this, and I, I certainly think they might be correct, because I get that item, like, every single run. Can I, can I explode these guys while they're in the air? No, I can't. There's chests in here, apparently. I can't be asking all the way over there for him. One sec. Yeah, let's continue on. The good thing is as well, I don't even have to use the explosions. Like, I'm trying my hardest to use the explosions where I can. But even if I don't use them, we're still doing very, very good damage. Like, they're not necessary at all right now. But Penny... Got some coins there that I'll probably leave on the ground. Yeah, I'll just leave those there. There's a little bit of extra healing in case we need it. Beautiful. Double bombs as well. We've got a shop here. We might as well check it out. Not getting any devil deal this floor, so... Picking up a soul heart... Um, that's not very good for us. Although it gives us range and sort of speed. That's pretty decent. I mean, Greg the Egg would probably be the better pick up here. Okay. Yeah, Greg the Egg would be a decent pick up here, so I'll, I'll, I'll try and remember to do that. This is the upgrade machine, isn't it? It'll upgrade these enemies if I hit it. Oh, it's you. Hello. Very bad enemy there for me. Do not want to have to deal with it. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to test something. So if I do explosions like this, they're like normal size. But if I'm in this guy's aura, they shake the screen. The extra damage there gives me some big bonuses, apparently. I don't know if that increases the radius with the big boom or if it's just because I have higher damage. Stuff. 
I think we're just going to go straight for the boss here, to be honest. I know I Greg the Egg is there and I should get him, but we're heading straight for the boss here, so... Let's just do it. Well, I say the boss. You know it's not actually the boss, but yeah. Anyways, got to remember to go to the item room on the uh, mum floor, Necro 2. It's gone. Just get over it. I wonder how this is going to fare against the beast. Like, is this setup going to be just absolutely insane against the beast? I mean, also something that I didn't even think about with this setup. We can just, like, leave every room we want to, right? We can just, like... Yeah. <clears throat> like, if there's a room that just looks really awful, we can, we can make our way around it. A lot of rooms here that I don't want to mess with, and therefore I shan't. Basically, I just do, I, I want to make sure, as much as I possibly can, that I don't lose my, my magic twig. There's a lot of things in here that could do that for me. Yeah, this is this is a good tactic. <laughs> I really think they made it was a big mistake for them to ever let you bomb your way out of uh, rooms in the ascent. I think it should be exactly like it is on the um, on the the chest and dark room where you cannot bomb out because. Yeah, there's a lot of really hard rooms that become very, very easy if you have bombs. Because you can just leave them whenever you want. I think we've cleared the... Yeah, I guess I was, was going to say I think we can clear this room. We actually did clear it. That's a good trinket if we end up losing this one, this floor somehow. You are very annoying, but we got you in the end. Come on, keep the twig going. Caves one. Yeah, I don't want you using Godhead on me, good sir. That was a little bit scary. I didn't really like that, but we got through it. Probably not that way, to be honest. Probably this way. Good. Yeah. I like it when you pick the right way on the Ascent. I feel like I pick the right way on the Ascent way more than any other flaws. Bomb. Being so cautious. I know for a fact I'm going to lose my magic twig. Like, right as we get to the end of the next floor. But we are killing stuff at lightning speed at the minute, so I can be happy about that. Do you know what? This is definitely a room I want out of. I hate that enemy with a burning passion. Unfortunately, a bunch of wrong ways, but as I was just saying about going the right way all the time, but hey her. That was so close. Wow. I said I hated that enemy. And it gave you a good reason as to why. This is pretty horrible. Especially because these burns like aim at you.
That bomb there. <laughs> it actually fucking chased me. It actually chased me. I do not think so, son. Okay, we managed to keep it. It just depends how long we can keep it for when we get to uh, fighting our angel friend. The, th the problem with the angel boy is keeping our distance from him is not something we can do easily. The world. Wow. Super useful. Right. We got our miser heart unlocked and, of course, the boy himself. Oh, we got 1,001% apparently. Mm, it's fine. Yeah, I don't think we'll be keeping the double damage for very long on this on uh, fighting against Dogma here. Just because we can't really keep our distance from him, which means our explosion is going to be... Okay, doesn't matter. He literally just spawned on top of me. So, it's gone now anyways. Um, you, do you know what? There's a good chance we just die. Because, yeah, he just fucking spawned on top of me. Never had that happen before. I mean, maybe I was just in a really bad spot, but come on now. We have Guppy's uh, collar, so we do have a potential extra life, but I'll be honest, the thingy not paying out, this isn't looking good. This isn't looking good at all. <laughs> but we got, the, we got the character unlocked we wanted unlocked, so that's all I care about. This is going to be hell scare for us. I'm not even going to fire, like, well, actually, no, I'll, I'll hold fire, but I'm not even going to really worry about hitting him. Because this attack is just so problematic for me. Okay, we, get, we did get through this at least. I can't believe he just fucking spawned on me. That was so savage. Right, one second. Right, let's see how this goes. Honestly, the damage is definitely very, very vastly down. It's literally exactly half as what it would have been otherwise. That's a bit of a shame. Thought it would have been killing a bit quicker at this at this point, but hey her. You're doing your up and downs. It, it's, it's doing pretty well. It's just a little hard to explode everything on the money here. There you go. I think we've got this in the bag. Bad. Oh, we popped out a bomb on top of him there. Okay, that wasn't so bad either. Yeah, the damage is coming out pretty hot and fast. Definitely good enough for us here. I'm just hoping we don't get uh, any hits before the boss, because then we've got four hits. And whatever coin we get from our space bar, if we get any. It's just, it's hard to, like, know where exactly to detonate. Okay, we've got into second phase. Second phase is where things start going wrong for me, though. Yeah. Because of shit like that. There we go, we got him there. So we did lose our Holy Mantle, unfortunately. But that's not too bad. Three horsemen down, only one hit received. Oh! Fuck! My bad. That was me just standing in a really dumb position. I still stand by the first hit being really not fair, but that one I was literally stood somewhere I knew that the uh, thing spawned, so can't even blame it on the game. Kind of interesting because you have to like get the timing right to make the most out of your damage here. Okay, I'm not quite sure. Uh, excuse me. Like, 
For one, can we just talk about how Guppy's collar never fucking works for me? But also, that's, that first hit on these skulls, I need to go back and watch that. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.